A protein can trick your heart into thinking you exercise. Researchers in Canada have found a protein that can stimulate the heart to grow in a healthy way and pump more blood, similar to how it reacts during exercise and pregnancy. When a heart attack damages part of the heart muscle, the remaining muscle adapts by growing larger. However, this growth can cause dysfunction when the muscle fibers grow bigger without also growing extra blood vessels. A protein called cardiotrophin-1 can trick the heart into growing more blood vessels and form longer fibers. This could increase the heart's ability to pump more blood, similar to what it does in response to exercise and pregnancy. The researchers are hoping to test the protein in human patients. If the tests are successful, the treatment will become available in a number of years. Researchers are hard at work trying to fix us from the inside out. Tick saliva could cure heart disease. Tick bites are annoying and sometimes dangerous as they may lead to serious illness. However, a new study shows that proteins found in tick saliva could also be used to treat a particular heart disease. Myocarditis is a disease that causes inflammation and damage of the heart muscle and typically affects young adults. When the heart becomes infected with a common virus, it releases chemicals called chemokines, which attract cells that cause inflammation. The heart muscle becomes dangerously inflamed and patients with severe cases would need heart transplants. Tick saliva can contain up to 3,000 proteins, known as evasins, depending on their species. Evasins allow them to feed on blood without causing inflammation, thus making their bites almost unnoticeable. One evasin found in the cayenne tick can bind to and neutralize chemokines to prevent inflammation. This could also potentially prevent myocarditis disease. Although the development of adding the tick protein to actual drugs still has a long way to go, Scientists believe this method could be used to cure heart disease, stroke, pancreatitis, and even arthritis. Scientists grow heart tissue on spinach leaves. Maybe Popeye was right all along. Long hailed as a superfood rich in nutrients, researchers have now successfully converted spinach into beating human heart tissue. Scientists at the Worcester Polytechnic Institute in Massachusetts washed spinach leaves with detergent to remove the plant's cells. The process preserves the plant's vascular system, which the researchers then seeded with cardiac tissue. After several days, the leaves began to beat like a heart. The scientists then passed dye through the plant's network of veins in what they say is proof of concept that spinach has the potential to transport blood. The researchers said they believe spinach could be used in the future to treat patients with heart problems, possibly by grafting spinach implants onto damaged heart tissue. Robotic heart sleeve supports failing hearts. Harvard researchers have developed a soft robotic sleeve that can replicate normal heart muscle movements in order to support failing hearts. The human heart twists as it beats in a motion similar to the wringing of a towel. In order to mimic this rotational motion, scientists created two sets of silicone robotic sleeves. The first one expands and contracts concentrically, while the second one expands and contracts helically. The device is designed to slide over the heart like a sleeve. When inflated with pressurized air, the sleeve can help to boost the amount of blood being pumped. The device is still at an early stage of development, and longer-term animal studies need to be conducted before it can be used in humans. 3D printed organ on a chip could end animal testing. Harvard scientists have developed a 3D printed heart on a computer chip, which can be used to study heart conditions without testing medical treatments on animals. The heart on a chip is composed of a small piece of flexible polymer that contains living human heart cells which can mimic the physiological response of a human heart. The chip also contains integrated sensors. The sensors collect data on the beating of the heart on a chip, which can be used to study how the tissue responds to drugs or toxins. Other organs, including bones, lungs, the liver, and gut, can also be made into organs on a chip. Backers of the technology say it is a more accurate alternative to testing drugs on animals and hope it can decrease the number of animals used for testing.